Meteor FX. Coming after you on the Thursday, coronavirus week. Hysteria continues. Um, looks like this is just going to get worse. Don't really see any end in sight. As the fear continues, the travel is canceled, the consumption is lowered, the movement is lowered, the oil consumption is lowered, the sales are lowered. Um, you know, if half the world goes into lockdown, whether they get the virus and die or not, uh, it's just bad for the global economy. So uh, hold on tight. Got the 200 day moving average in uh, E minis coming up. Uh, we'll call it 3048. Should bounce there a little bit uh, first time. But um, core short really is the only way on the risk side for now. Uh, sometimes it feels a little bit awkward. There was an 80 handle bounce yesterday, uh, or 90 handle bounce yesterday from. Um, 3090 to 3181 and then straight back down. Uh, we're 320 handles from the highs. Just ignore that, right? It's 10%. This can go another 10% very, very easily. Uh, so, you know, sit tight try and get short risk. There's a lot of different metrics you can use for that. Uh, you don't have to chase S&Ps if you can't handle the volatility or if you suck at trading S&Ps. There's other ways to express yourself on the risk off. Speaking of which, uh, we're looking at this dollar CAD as we talked about yesterday. This is kind of the line that we think everyone's looking at. We traded through the 34 bingo number. Uh, we're at 40 now we match up with these 50 highs we think this is going to this is going to run a bit uh, long dollar cad looks sensible short cad yen another way to express risk off in a sort of lower vol metric um, short cad yen also looks looks interesting it's it's basically the same trade so size yourself accordingly Dollar yen, we have this push and pull here. We've got GPIF uh, and Japan, which is totally screwed on this global consumption deal uh, with the old fashioned risk off uh, correlation trade. Uh, what to do with this here? My sense is, is you really need to buy this, but uh, we've been trading around the long side uh, since the 89 low. That's your line in the sand, 109.90. Below that, uh, and let's just say you could argue that the risk off old fashioned school of thought is going to take over. Uh, but we do expect to see large, large flows, you know, disguised uh, within the liquidity system, you know, with algorithms and and uh, iceberg bids, all that good stuff. We do believe um, there are buyers lurking on the bid here in dollar yen, so be careful. One of the most straightforward ways to, to trade this is just leave a 109.87 stop. If we're down there, that means we're probably through the 200-day moving average in ES, and there's more hysteria, and things are just going haywire in general so pick your poison right you want to trade around the long side go ahead you want to leave a stop get short through 109.90 that'll be like the Roberto Duran no mas point euro as we see the world um, leave NASDAQ and S&P and U.S. assets, the repatriation of, of uh, local cash is creating this bid in the euro. This will continue as the S&P and the NASDAQ collapses. Uh, all of the European insurance companies, all of the Europeans everywhere. I mean, think of the Swiss National Bank. They own like $100 billion worth of U.S. equities. Now, that's a special case. 
they're not going to repatriate. Uh, they're just going to hold. But um, normal businesses uh, will basically square everything at during these crazy times and just move everything to cash. But that cash will rem go to back to local currency. So we expect to see more of a slow grind higher in euro dollar. Uh, this is if you're long this it's a very tradable long you saw yesterday we went down to 58 uh, I mean 56 we were at the bid on we were on the bid at 51 didn't get those um, anyway as we are making new lows here in S&P's 3062 and a half uh, now just traded likely to see this thing move up a bit uh, let's go over to ZN. We, um, we tried to pick the top yesterday at 133.12. We kind of did. So we, we kind of smacked the pony here at 12. Uh, saw this thing go down to 31. Now we're back at 12. Um, we cut this. Uh, so this is just just cut it as a scratch. Uh, the hysteria looks like it's going to overwhelm logic. This whole double bottom on uh, ten USY. I forget what it is. What's the uh, code on that? US ten Y. Sorry. US ten Y. Uh, as we talked about yesterday, we're looking at this maybe to form some sort of double bottom with this low here, but we're through now. Um, no telling where this is going to go. Uh, we've seen this with boons. Obviously, boons are yielding minus 50. Uh, we're at plus 130 here. Um, this could easily go to, I don't know, 70 basis points, something completely insane. So... Um, no point in fighting this yet. We wait for a turn. We took a little shot in the dark yesterday. That's all it was, uh, risking two ticks. But even now, we're just scratching to break even. So don't be undisciplined with this. Try and picking a rabbit out of a hat. Those trades rarely work. Uh, so let's just move on. Kiwi uh, looking bad. Uh, probably going to get worse. 6201 is the is the big ass double bottom there. Um, this thing's been down to 40. Most of you may not even uh, been in the market back then. That was 2000. Um, sorry, I just had my coffee there. This has ways to go lower, so uh, short kiwi looks looks interesting. Um, just as a as a general, Aussie and Kiwi are screwed because China is totally screwed type of trade. Um, but the real big long-term bingo number here is 62, the figure. So we're still a percent and a half away. Vol in Kiwi has been atrocious. Uh, so be patient. What else? Sterling, don't really know. Looks like she wants to go down. But how is she going to go down if Euro's going up? Is Euro Sterling going to go through the roof? Don't know. Uh, not really watching Sterling too closely. We we bought some 40s yesterday and we just cut 25. Uh, no drama. No drama there. Aussie Yen, Kiwi Yen, still short. So 73, the finger was the bingo number on Tuesday. Why are we on the weeklies here? Um, now it's through 72.40. The next number is 71.80. Uh, core short Aussie yen is just a safer, lower vol way of expressing risk off. Dollars are wild day yesterday. Um, Tito basically just bullshitted his way through some sort of uh, budget there, filled with lies and promises he could never keep. We did go down to 10. Um, 08 even, but uh, then reality of risk off has just come back. 
This, I think, for sure is going to break 1550 uh, very soon. So long dollars are um, looks looks correct. I don't know where to buy. If you're not long here, you might want to just try and tactically get long this stuff. You can't just can't just buy at 30 and leave a 28 stop. Where's your stop have to be now? It has to be below 1504. You're risking 30 handles. Even though the direction is higher, if you can't structure a trade properly, you just can't put it on, right? A lot of people ask me this, like, oh, you're bullish euros. Why aren't you long euro? Well, you know, you got to structure a risk reward for each trade. Knowing the direction is only half the battle. Um, the other half is structuring a sensible trade so anyway we like this higher but we don't have a dog in this fight we're basically uh, long dollar cad we're short cad yen today aussie yen kiwi yen core short uh bitcoin uh we bought some uh bought some yesterday doesn't look great but we think this is going to hold um on the eight thousand handle here and this is kind of a longer term as the world really goes into, you know, Hades, fifth, sixth, and seventh levels. Uh, Bitcoin, we think, is going to ramp, you know, like up to 40,000 or something. So anyway, conversation for another day. Uh, good luck out there, people. Good trading. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.